here from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com and today is part two of my DIY vanity and makeup storage. So if you did not watch part one, I'll put the link in the uh, down bar below and check it out. You can see how I built this little thing right here. I made my own vanity. Yes, I did. Just by myself. I did that last weekend. It took about I don't know, maybe six hours, something like that. Uh, it's entirely made out of wood and I have legs. Altogether, there's six slots for baskets and or drawers. And today, I have to do a few other things. So, I thought about it all week. What is it that I want for storage? How do I want to put all of my makeup? Not collection, I do have a lot, but I don't know. I don't go and buy... Um, every shade of lipstick in one collection or something like that. I just buy what I want and what goes well with me. So anyway, that's that's not the point. So here's the makeup, right? There's a lot of it here and there's more in those drawers over there. And I was thinking, well, let me do some baskets and I'm going to put everything in those things here. And then I thought, well, what about the top? I could possibly put stuff on the top. And then I thought, but well, wait a second, I really like these. I like them because they're drawers and, you know, you can compartmentalize things. And um, I didn't want to reuse the whole unit. I felt that the unit itself was just too tall. I didn't want to put it over here because it's not really pretty. I could go and buy the Muji stuff, but I'm trying to, like, not spend money here. I'm trying to go as, not as cheap as I can, but as frugal as I can. Like, for instance, the entire desk so far just between the wood and the screws and the glue and uh, what else the nails only cost me hundred and fourteen dollars at the Home Depot you can't beat that um, the paint I already have so you know I'm not gonna say it's free but it's not part of this purchase so anyway so I was thinking I want to reuse this but maybe I don't need to use the entire unit so then I said to myself oh, wait a second what if I was putting these like this right so let's see if I put all of them and they're not all full it's only portions of what I have so I have six drawers and I already kind of like put my lipsticks some of them um, in a storage thing but I'll talk about the storage at a later time so if I put all six here you're thinking, well, what's the point? You gotta open containers, right? Well, wait. Here's another one. These are just lip balm. All right, so if I just put all six here, I still have a lot of space, right? But if I put shelves, right? Let me do this. Right here on the top, right? It's not attached, so I'm having a hard time getting it together. So this is kind of like tucked away, right? And then I still have space on top. So I can put decorative items. Like for instance, I could take things like this, like my some of my lipsticks and put them on the top and I'm saving space and I still have all of those to utilize for bigger, bulkier items like um, hair stuff, um, shaving stuff, nail stuff, things like that. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to cork the sides here and all the way in the back. And I'm going to cork on the inside as well because I just want to make sure so there's a tiny, tiny hairline gap here. I'm going to cover all of that. And then I'm just going to go ahead. I have enough wood um, to build the shelves and tack them. And then I can go ahead and just paint the whole thing. So I'm painting it. A lot of you have asked me what color am I painting it. I'm going to paint it in white only because this is white and I want a continuation and it's going to be like a uh, semi-gloss white. So that's what it's going to look like. So um, the lipsticks are not going to be there by the way because this is getting sunny so I don't want them to melt or anything but I can put them somewhere else like over here right if I have a shelf where it's going to be in the shade. Um, you get the point. So yeah, let me see if I put another one. If you get an idea of what I'm talking about. Mind you, mind you, this is not being held. So, yeah, it would look something like this. 
You see the idea? That's not bad. And I have room for two more. So because these need to be kind of like reinforced right here, I'm going to have to spread them a little bit. So I'm probably going to have two like this and I'm going to have um, another two like this. Right? And then I'll put the reinforcers here and I'll still have like space to put like little knickknacks and things. So pretty much it's going to look like this. Um, I like it. Yeah, and this is enough space from here to here for me. I can put my mirror, I can put a plant, I can put some perfumes or whatever. So I already started filling this up. And um, when I'm doing the entire bathroom vanity um, makeup organization video, how I store my makeup and things like that, you'll get to see what's inside that cabinet. But anyway, let me get started. I have to do the caulking first and then I have to build that shelf. For caulking, I went down in my basement and um, you know, I have like a room where all my tools and stuff are and I found like two of those tubes, the kitchen and bath adhesive caulk or sealant, I don't know. They're gonna get painted anyway. Both of them are paintable, so I really don't care. Uh, what they look like. This is high gloss and bright white and this is uh, bright white. It doesn't matter. And then I have one of these things here. So when you put the cork there and you squeeze it out of the tube, you just go and use this little thing here just to make it nice and straight. I actually may just do it with my fingers. I'm not sure. But let me get started and then I'll show you what it looks like at least on one side. So I'm hoping this works because I just put one big squeegee of the thing. So let me just go in the corner here. And we're going to spread it. Like that. Does not look too bad to me. There's a little bit of a gap here. So let me just go over again. Uh oh, I'm making a mess. It worked. Alright, let me do the whole thing. It's going to have to dry, which is perfect because the window is open, so it's gonna dry real fast. I gotta um, do something about the little corner here. I'm just gonna use my finger and then um, do the whole thing. And then I gotta do the corner over here, which I'm probably gonna use my fingers for because I don't think this thing here is gonna be good enough. So this has all been caulked. You can see over here and yeah, it looks all right. Um, it's getting painted, so I really don't care whether or not it's a perfect job and then all of the uh, shelves have been cooked as well you see that so it's just to get the hairline um, you know gap out of the way and um, I don't know give it a more of a finished look and uh, yeah so that's about it all right let me uh, build the shelf here's the idea that I have because I have three of those um, and two is not long enough I'm gonna put uh, a full one here with a little bar here, a divider, to hold it a little bit better. And then I'm going to do one that's about a third, and then there's going to be a full one here. So there's going to be a gap in the middle um, that's going to be... You know what? I just thought about something. Maybe I can put th one, three drawers, one, two, and three, a gap, and then one, two, and three. And that way I can put something right there in the middle. I'm hoping I'm making sense. Um, yeah, so I got to measure. I got to see uh, how much of a gap in between I need. I'm probably, I have my saw, I have all my tools here. So I'm probably going to have to uh, do some cutting and um, I'm going to use finishing nails to put them in. Actually the top, I don't really have to affix it to the table. I can remove it if I want to. So let me just fix it to the little stabilizers and that's it and just place it on top of the table. Um, the only thing is that I have to make sure that I have the right length here and I have this piece right here, right? So obviously this is too tall, but um, I can cut it right here to the right height so let's see the right height would be just about this so if I make it a little tiny bit shorter not by much I'll cut it um, at the right size I guess and look at my nails look at this just to let you know right I put in this is a uh, I just did my nails this morning and this is like an SE Part of the tropical collection but I put a, uh, um, a treatment where is it let me find it I'm constantly digressing wait where are my nails oh okay here 
Um, all right, so this is the nail polish. I see in uh, Re Resort Flang, which I like. It's pretty. However, because my nails are really bad lately, I put this thing on. Hard as Wrap by um, Sally Hansen, and nail polish doesn't stay on it. I've had nail polish peel off literally like this one just came out like you know I have this one just coming out and I just did that this morning so nail polish doesn't stay on this thing I don't know why but lesson learned okay so if I put three on each side right that leaves me with this big gap in the middle and this is the part I'm going to use as a divider or at least as a reinforcer that's gonna go this way perpendicular and then the shelf is gonna stop on it so I'm just gonna mark pretty much where I need it to be so that I can measure where I need the shelf. So this is going to go this way and this is flushed on the other side as well, like this. And I don't care if I'm drawing, again this is getting painted. So this is where the two dividers are going to be. So I need to uh, go ahead and measure and figure out how short one of those shelves, the middle one, needs to be. So leave it to me for changing plans as I go. I just thought of something. Check this out. If I do one shelf here with my three drawers and just one here with my three drawers, I still have to cut them, right? I could actually have a space in between with no shelf just to tuck in my mirror. Aha! What do you think? I'm thinking about it, I don't know. I could have a full shelf or just two kind of like mini shelves on either side. Hmm, it probably would look more structured. So basically it would look kind of like this. This has not been cut, so you gotta, you know, again, use your imagination. So I would have like three drawers here and then three drawers here. Of course, this would be nicely flush. So that means that I have to find, to cut a better piece that goes all the way to the back right from here to here as well and then I could just put the mirror right in the middle right and that way it doesn't take space I may actually do that I don't know mm. all right I gotta sit on it for a minute okay so here are the measurements uh, this is eight and three eighth and then this is two and a half so I need two pieces right I'm going to start by cutting this side here and remove this. That's probably going to be easier. And then I'll just cut one cut here and one cut here. And I should have the two pieces that go on the end of my two shelves. So they cut, they fit nicely. I did not nail them in yet because I want to make sure that three drawers actually fit. Wouldn't that be something if I didn't measure it right and they do not fit? Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So I get three little drawers here. I'm going to have three little drawers over there. Let me just go ahead and sand those pieces because I don't want to have to do it while they uh, put together. And then I'm going to have to caulk it. And by the way, the caulk is still not dry. So this is a problem. I wanted to paint this today. It's too humid and this is right in the middle. I have my little mirror. So this is working out just fine for me. I'm happy. I don't know. What do you think? I think it's great. Um, yeah, I mean, it's custom made. Can't beat that. It's super hot in my bathroom right now. My hair is just exploding in curls. I'm sweaty. It's hot and humid too. I think we're gonna have a storm or something. So anyway, I'm done. This is it. I'm not doing anything else. I gotta paint this thing because I'm already having ideas about how I want to do a gallery in the back and do some extra shelves and stuff. No, leave it alone. I can't touch this thing anymore. So anyway, so this is what it looks like. You see, I have my two little shelves. I caulked them already. This is still drying. This is almost dry over here and on the inside so all I have to do is just patiently which I don't have any patience but patiently wait for it to be completely dry so I can wipe it off because um, there's probably some sawdust still on it and just go ahead and paint it so yeah when you sit here's a point of view for you when you sit it pretty much looks like this you see and then I can pull out my little drawers, get my stuff, and then go in there, get my stuff. Mirror into the middle. It's just perfect. I want to put a bonsai right here. 
or over there. I don't know. But I have a shelf now I can put plant and I have plenty of space. And you see it's all curved all the way into the back. I got like some of there. Let me see. I did not see that. Okay. Need to wipe it off a little bit. Yeah, and of course I got it on my fingers. So yeah, it's all coped then. So it's perfectly sealed um, and it's ready to go. <sighs> I don't know. I thought I was going to be done in one day. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be the case today. Um, all right, so it's uh, it's in the afternoon already. Uh, I think it's like 1 30, quarter to two, something like that. Um, we're gonna go and have some lunch, and maybe I'll go to the dollar store and see if I can find some plastic containers that are semi attractive, but cheap, um, and measure a couple of them, see how I can fit different baskets into a larger basket. I gotta make sure they fit inside the uh, uh, shelf components that I have on this desk and then by the time I'm coming back, if I'm feeling like it, maybe I paint it, otherwise it's gonna have to happen tomorrow, but it's still gonna be part of this video. Whew, okay, we're on day two and I didn't put my makeup on yet. Um, that's gonna come in a minute. I just wanted to show you the stuff that I got at, I went to two stores yesterday. I went to the Dollar Tree, which is like a Dollar General dollar store. And I went to Home Goods to look for containers and things to put my makeup in. So let me show you what I got. Um, at the Dollar Tree, I think I spent 30 something dollars. So it wasn't a lot. It was still more than I wanted to spend, but you know, at a dollar each and you need 12 bins plus uh, a bunch of other stuff, it turned out to be $34, so $115 for the wood and everything I needed for the desk, plus $34, so that's $149, um, let me see, $34 plus $10, yeah, $149, so $150 uh, for the desk itself and its containers and its uh, storing components. So let me show you what I got. I found these, um, let me put those out. I found these bins, and these were the plastic, right? I like these because they have little feet. You see that? So that actually helps with the sliding. And I bought 12 of those because you can put one this way, and there's actually enough room to put another one behind it. So I'm doubling the uh, storage capacity of this um, desk, which is pretty much what I wanted to do. So, and they fit perfect. I mean, they really can't move too much. So they slide nice. I can put my stuff in it. So these were a dollar. And then I bought some of those plastic thingy. I wish they had them in white. I was looking for the gray one. They didn't have them. Um, they only had red, green, and blue. And since red is one of my favorite colors, I picked the red. So you can put one like this and you can put another one like this right and then I got some of the longer one I don't know where mine is um, I have to look for it but anyway so I can put stuff in here and then since they're deep enough I can put two long ones over so I can kind of like move them shuffle them or I can put just one and slide it over the whole basket still has room so as I'm growing with my um, makeup stuff I have enough space, I don't have to create more storage. And then I bought some of these that are metal. And same thing, I can put two this way, right? And then leave some room here for bulky items or tall items that can fit, um, that fit better. Um, you know, standing, not in one of those bins. So I can't remember how many of those I bought, but I think I bought maybe four or six, something like that. So. That's one style, and then I bought some of these to put my brushes in, and same thing, I think they, uh, they were, well, they had to be a dollar, because it's a dollar store. Um, and if you remember, my brushes are here, and inside I have some of that filler stuff already, so I have enough filler to fill up four of these, and I can do a series of cups with one for face, one for uh, blushes, one for eyes, and one for, you know, specialty items like the brows and the smudgers and things like this. And then, and I'm sure you've seen that on YouTube a lot, or at least on Etsy or, you know, um, what's the other one? Uh, in blogs in general, I bought these candlestick holders, right? And they don't look like much right now, but with hot glue, 
I can put one of those like this and it gives me one of those little tote containers um, that I can, you know, use for other items like if I have tall pencils, for instance, or if I have, um, um, I don't know, I just wanted to have two of these. So I have two that are going to be like this and then I have four of those glasses. It's just a matter of putting the hot glue here at the bottom on the rim here and you just put it like that and you have like one of those nice little container. Um, you know, for extra knickknacks or whatnot. So that was the Dollar Tree. Then I went to Home Goods, which is one of my favorite stores, and I feel the need to sit down for some reason. And at Home Goods, I found this thing here. So that was a little bit more pricey. And this I'm going to use to put some of my palettes. So I can put some palettes like this, or like this, or the big one and tall ones in the back. And yeah, I like that idea, I found that on another one of those tricks I found on YouTube, but anyway. So that was $9.99, so we had what, like $1.16 now? And then, total impulse buy, I got this little guy here. This is just adorable, and this was uh, $7.99, so we had $1.68, and that's it, no more purchases. So these are little nesting balls you see that it says one cup this one is half a cup I'm gonna put them right here so you can have one this way one this way they're like matryoshka dolls you know the the little Russian dolls like that and these are just too cute and I'm gonna use them for specific item like the small one for instance I can use for my uh, wedding band and my engagement ring um, when I, you know, get ready for the night, I just put them in there. This one I can use for uh, custom jewelry, things like that. This one I can use for earrings and I like the idea of, you know, like the dangle earrings that have the little uh, hook thing. You can actually hook them right here to the side and they don't get all tangled at the bottom. And then this one, I already put some hair stuff in it. It's going to be for hair products because they can, you know, like the uh, um, clips and, and the little, you know, whatever. Uh, rubber band, they, uh, they tend to take more room um, and are bulkier, so I'm going to put them in this one. And I just think that it's just the cutest little thing. I love it. It's so cute. And that's from the brand BW, that stands for Boston Warehouse Trading Corporation. So if you find them at Home Goods, um, you'll be lucky. I have to say that this, there was only one set left and it wasn't even in the uh, um, regular, you know, um, dishware and cooking kitchen section. I actually found this, somebody must have taken it and decided at the last minute not to purchase it because I found this alongside of the waiting line for the cash register and I didn't see it anywhere else at the store but you never know you may be able to find it at your home goods but in any event I'll put the link below for the uh, um, for the item if you think it's cute like I do and look it's got like a little tail at the back each one of them has its own little mini tail it's the cutest thing I love this so anyway so that's gonna go either here or on this side so today I'm painting it um, I realized that I still have some sanding to do I didn't do a very good job sanding yesterday so I'm gonna sand it again just to make sure I have see this is nice and smooth right here so I want to make sure I got a uh, even smooth surface uh, throughout the entire desk and once that's done I will wipe it off with a damp cloth um, just to make sure I don't have any more sawdust on it and um, I'll be ready for painting and I pretty much think that this is done today I can't wait to put all my makeup in it then I'll do a video about my um, um, makeup storage and you know what it what's in my makeup collection thing uh, another thing I need to do today I forgot is this shade here this is the one that came with the house and you see it's blue it's one of those you know a fabric thing it is so difficult to uh, close it and open it we never changed it it's got some rust here and I just don't like the blue anymore um so I went to where was it oh I went to the Home Depot but that was a while back and I bought one that's the wood slats and then there's just like a string you pull and the slats just go this way or that way um, which is much faster for me to kind of close or open um, when I'm going to take a shower because if you can see the neighbor's bedroom 
is right here. So it's not like uh, I have that much privacy. So I'm going to replace that today as well while the desk, at least the first coat, is drying. Then I'll do the second coat, then we'll let it dry. And while that's drying, I'll put all my makeup back together in the containers. And um, then I'll do a new video just on makeup storage. Okay, I got my face on and I'm ready to sand. I'm using one of those... Um, what they call sanding blocks I guess um, this is actually pretty good because you get a good grip on them and you can really go back and forth back and forth and you don't have to switch it around this one is a little busted on one side so I'm gonna have to use the other side and then definitely the edges right here so just sand the edges that's basically all I gotta do so I just gotta sand the edges all around just give it a good good smooth buff um, <clears throat> again and then um, wipe everything with a damp cloth and ready to paint. I'm painting it and I think I mentioned that in yesterday's segment. Um, I'm painting it in bright white, uh, semi-gloss and it's an exterior interior paint I'm not sure uh, but it's pretty thick and um, it dries real real fast that's what I like about it. I can't remember the brand I think it's Gildan but I'll show you when I get there. <laughs> Okay, so I gave it a good sanding. Um, I'm sorry about the uh, the light. I mean, you know, that's the reason why I put it right there so that I have as much light as possible. And the shear panels are kind of, you know, uh, put back, so you can't really appreciate the uh, diffusion of uh, the light. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead use a damp cloth just to remove all of the sawdust, right? And I need to do it on the underside as well and the reason why I'm doing this is because when you paint and you have all of this sawdust you end up having this sand like texture on your paint and it's just not a finished look it's, it's just ugly so I'm probably gonna have to go over a couple of times probably be easier if I was just doing it with the vacuum but I don't want to go down and bring the vacuum because that's the third floor and trying to not waste energy today I'm gonna need plenty of that just gonna dump it on the floor right here because I have my broom and my dustpan so all right let me finish this and then I'll start painting so I didn't start painting yet and I already have paint all over me see I got it on my fingers anyway it's uh, the Gliden or Glidden, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, and it's obviously it's been used before. And here it is. It's bright white and semi-gloss. And I only have two brushes. I have the rolling brush for the flat surfaces and this one for the corners. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I have to do the least favorite part, which is all of the corners first. Right, and once that's done, I'll do a second coat of the corners and then all I have to do is the flat surfaces. So I'm just doing the corners. Because these are the parts that you gotta do first. And once I have two coats on the corners, I can just go ahead and do the roll throughout the whole piece. I already did the one over there and I need to do the corner on the top and at the bottom. So I'm going to start with the bottom. Painting is boring to me. I mean it's just boring. <sighs> it's like the project that never ends. I've been on, uh, what is this, like the second weekend now? I don't know what I was thinking when I said I was going to be done by noon last week. I'm an idiot. Okay, so I have two coats on every corner, right? And I'm ready to do um, the roll for the flat surfaces. But make sure my roll is properly attached. I'm putting a plastic bag inside the tray only because it's much easier for cleanup and also because this one is cracked and I don't want to have paint all over. So let me just get started. And hopefully, we get an idea of what it looks like. I'm gonna start right here. So I just go and do, and again, it's very sunny. 
I go in one direction. Oh man, this is not working fine for me. All right, so I just go in one direction. What is the deal with this thing? Let me see. There we go. All right, and once I'm done with that one direction, I go in the other against the grain just to make sure I get every single little wooden, you know, uh, texture. I don't want any piece of wood showing. I'm taking a break, but I got me a little helper. Right, Willie? Yep. Yeah. Do you like painting? Yeah. Look, you got paint already on your knees. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> okay, first coat is done. Check it out. Here it is. We got one coat. The only thing I didn't do yet are the feet. I'm going to do that last. And then there's a little corner over there that I forgot to do with the regular brush. So anyway, when it's painted, this is basically what it's going to look like now. I could have patched these uh, from the uh, carriage bolts that go inside the feet. I could have patched them with wood putty, but I'd rather leave them like this because you never know, I may have to um, tighten them at some point if the desk gets a little bit wobbly but anyway so I'm pretty happy with the way it looks I mean this is starting to look like a uh, you know Ikea piece I guess um, it's pretty much the same you know idea it's just a bunch of flat panels with screws that's it ladies you can make this on your own if you haven't watched the uh, first video on how I actually built this I'll, again the link is below um, there's no reason for you to go spend oodles of money on a piece of furniture for your bathroom when you can make it on your own. I mean, look at that. You can't find this in the store. This is like completely custom made. It cost me under $200. I think I calculated it for you, didn't I? I'm not really losing my mind. Um, how much was it? It was like $178 altogether, I think. Let's just say $180 with the taxes for the wood, the screws, um the storage bins, the decorative items. I mean, come on, $180. You can't find this in the store for that kind of money. I'm going to take a break. I need to let the paint cure, not the kind, not the paint that's on my face and my hair, but I need to let the paint cure a little bit and dry. It's a beautiful, dry, hot day today. It's not humid, so it's actually drying real fast. I'm happy about that. Yesterday was awful. We had a flash flood. I just, I, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the painting yesterday. Um, I'm going to go get the shade. I'm probably going to wait for the whole table to be done before I do that because I don't want to have to move it while it's still wet and you know I mean I may have to drill things and then I'm going to get like sawdust and plaster on the wet surface. I'm just going to wait for the whole desk to be dry. Um, yeah I think I'm just going to have a cup of coffee maybe uh, a yogurt of something and then uh, I'll tackle coat number two. So I have two coats done. I didn't do the feet yet. I'm going to do that last. Um, and it's curing right now. It's, uh, it's pretty much dry, but it's still a little bit, you know, kind of like, I don't know, moldable. I guess like if I push on it, I'll get the, uh, uh, the impression of my finger. If that even makes sense. But right now, I'm just, I'm sick and tired of the mess I made over here. I can't wait to get all this stuff stored in those bins. I have too much stuff. See, this is all the stuff that was already, you know, here. Um, hence the reason why I'm building this thing here, but I just, it's too much. I'm tired of seeing it. It's been a week now that I'm seeing this stuff all over. My poor husband, he walks into this bathroom, he's like, cold femur, it's a disaster. Um, all right, so while this is drying, I'm just going to do some regular cleaning around the house. I know I'm going to make the bed. I didn't do that yet. You know, kind of like clean a little bit, make things look a little bit better because it's just like it's, everything has exploded on this third floor since last week. A lot of stuff's been moved to the bedroom. All of the stuff I bought at the Dollar Tree yesterday is right there behind the door. I got plastic bags everywhere. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's not that it gives me anxiety or anything like that. It's just like it's bothering me. I can't stand it. I'm trying to be organized and clean and, you know, kind of like keeping things in an orderly fashion and right now I just look like my old self is back and I am not happy with it so yeah um is that oof I almost had the cord fall <laughs> into my paint you see what I mean it's everywhere 
I can't stand it. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope you're liking this project so far. I have to say that I'm very proud of myself. I never thought that building stuff with wood, with plywood in particular, was going to be that easy. The only thing I have to say is that plywood sucks up paint a lot. So I'm going to end up doing a third coat. Um, just, you know, for the sake of it. And then, you know, the, uh, the texture of the wood itself. And I sanded this, but I don't know if you can see it. Let me try to find places. You see, you can still, st you can still see the texture of the wood itself. So, I mean, if you want something that's more of a uh, uh, nice, you know, smooth surface, obviously you would need one of those sanders that's like a rotary sander or you would have to just like sand it and sand it and sand it um i you know i just sanded it for the purpose of making it a little bit smooth obviously this is not like a beautiful job i don't care it's for me you know i'm not selling it so yeah i'm just happy with the way it is really um yeah but if you really want to do something super smooth get a uh, um, one of those rotary sanders um or even the square one, you know, that's like, that looks like an iron, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but otherwise, that's the only thing I don't like about plywood. Um, you know, when you get furniture like this, like let's say at Ikea, it's laminated. So it's got a beautiful, smooth surface to it. Um, but that being said, the plywood, you can actually taint it with a, uh, um, you know, like a burgundy or cherry or uh, oak type color and that would look good too if you went to that country kitchen kind of you know a uh, natural wood look that would look very very good on plywood um anyway so yeah um what was i talking about oh yeah so yeah let me do some cleaning a little bit i'm not going to show you what i'm doing yeah, i've already had a video on that so um i'm going to do my bedroom a little bit and then take another break wait for this to cure a little bit more and then i have to install the uh, the shade all right, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Does this project ever end? I have to do the feet, all eight of them. <laughs> Let's get started. This is gonna take forever. I'm only gonna do two coats on those. Put a little bit of um, newspaper at the bottom. Ah, uh, come on. I want to play with my makeup. I want to organize things. I don't want to do this. This is the least favorite part. All right, let me just do all eight and do a second coat. By then, hopefully, the whole desk will be taken care of. I just washed every single one of my makeup brushes. Don't freak out. I know I have a lot. I've seen much, much worse on YouTube. Gals, if you're still using sponge applicators, you need to stop, buy a good set of brushes. I would recommend, for a start, get the Real Techniques. I love those, in particular this one, the face one, the blush one, I use it every single day. It's a great brush. You don't have to spend a lot of money. This, is, this kit is like maybe $20, $19.99, whatever. So that's a good set to have. This one here, I think it's $5. It's the e.l.f. Kabuki. It's the best Kabuki brush I ever had. I absolutely love it. This is a great quality Kabuki. It's uh, very dense. It's soft. And I don't know. I just love it for a setting powder or just blending, you know, whatever. I have some Chanel's. They are outstanding. They're too much money. So these were actually a gift. So I'm keeping them, but... I would never purchase one. These are ELF, I think they're the studio line or the other line, they're okay. The um, the foundation one is good, uh, the liner one is alright, it's a little bit too soft. The, the blending one or the sponge applicator is terrible, I absolutely hate it. This doesn't really blend anything, unless I have like some um, really soft coal liner then it would blend but any liquid eyeliner or anything like that it doesn't blend it it's not good um i have these here which i suspect to be fake max <laughs> they were a gift too uh, some of them are actually pretty good this one the foundation is good some of the eyeshadow ones are good the um eyeliner is very good but the uh, the stippling one and the face one not so much that's a uh, what is that that's a mac 187 that's a uh, um Probably the most versatile of all of the 
MAC brushes, you can use it as a stippling brush, you can use it as a blending, you can use it as a blush brush. That's a good one to have. If you're going to have one MAC um, brush, I recommend this one, the MAC 187. These are Soho, you find them at CVS and um, you know the drugstore. I like these because they have this little kind of, I don't know, like grip thing. So they have, they're very stable in your hand, they're good quality. That's another elf one and this Mary Kay which actually are natural brushes and they're very good quality the only one that I didn't like from them was the um, eyebrow kind of like setting brush you know the one that has a comb on one side and a brush on the other one this one like totally fell apart but these I probably have had had the longest and I'm talking like nine years and they are still in perfect condition so I just wash them I'm using an elf um, shampoo but if you have like a sensitive bar soap like a dove you can just take the soap in one hand and you know just like the barber shop you just go over with your your brush and then rinse them good you want to really really shake them off and then i'm just putting them here because i'm getting sunshine right now i lay them flat and then every 15 minutes or so i just turn them like that um because I want to make sure that everything gets dry. So yeah, so these are my brushes. And again, start using brushes. Stop with the uh, fingers, stop with the sponge applicators. Use good quality brushes and probably the best, you know, you can get for your buck is the Real Technique. And those you can find at um, Hammond Cosmetics. You can find them online, of course. But anyway, I'll put link below for all of that stuff. It's 5.30 in the afternoon. I'm done. I am complete with the project. I replaced the shade and I put everything into uh, the cubbies. I got all my makeup organized, but I'm not going to show you today. I'm going to show you that in my next video. And that's what I said I was going to do anyway. So are you ready for this? Check this out. Ta-da! Here it is. I hope I have enough light. So. I changed the shade. You remember the nasty blue shade? Now I have one of those that, you know, goes like this or like that. And then, here we go. I got all my brushes. They've been cleaned. I have my little owls. I have the drawers underneath. These I didn't organize yet. I have my mirror. We remember that. I have all my palettes in here. I have some extra lipsticks there. These two here lipstick. This one is empty. These, I have the double... Um, you can see the other one in there. I didn't put anything in there yet. It's probably going to be just like nail stuff and uh, body stuff, things like that. And then on this side, but I'll show you that next week, I have double baskets again and all of my makeup is in those three baskets. So yeah, let me just go as far as I can. And this is what it looks like, the finished project. I don't know, what do you think? I'm really proud of myself. I think I should be proud. This is just awesome. This is the best thing I've ever done for myself and since it's Mother's Day today. Yeah, that's my gift to me for Mother's Day. Let me go on the other side. Don't mind the mess over there. That doesn't exist. It's still not complete. I didn't finish cleaning everything. I'm going to do that later on tonight before I go to bed. But yeah, here we go. Um, Strangely enough, I'm already running out of space on the top. Can you believe it? I thought I had enough space, but no. Um, most of it is, most of the stuff I have is going to go in there anyway. And again, remember I have double storage, so there's a lot of things I can put in the back. Just kind of like to clear up everything, but it works perfect. Now, I didn't have room to do these things here. Um, you remember I talked about this. Oop. I don't have room to do these unless I kind of like squish them to the side but then I don't know what to do anymore with them so I think I'm gonna still do the project but do something else with them and probably put a candle or something and bring them to the, um, uh, the dining room or the living room or even the kitchen because um, they're just too cute or maybe in the office so anyway um, I hope you enjoyed the project. I hope you've learned something. I hope I inspired you in making your own stuff. You don't have to go to the store and spend a gazillion dollars on furniture that's laminate. You can make your own. It may not be as um, you know beautifully finished as what you would see in the store, but it's a fraction of the cost. It's not that difficult to build. So you just have to think through the whole project before you start 
you know, building whatever it is that you want to build. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll talk to you later, probably next week, with a full tour of my vanity and my makeup and perfume collection. Thanks for watching. Bye!